everybody, it's me Adan and welcome to my channel Sofa Serenity where I talk to you about my sewing journey. Welcome back if you're a regular viewer and if you're new here I hope you enjoy this vlog and consider subscribing. So it's Thursday morning and I'm just, I was just relaxing with a nice cup of tea and who should appear at the door? The postman and he had my So Hayley Jane box. So this is my So Hayley Jane unboxing for September. So let's crack on with it. Now it doesn't feel like a massively heavy box this time so it's going to be a lightweight fabric I should imagine and I think this month it's the last month of the fat quarters so I won't be sad to see them go I must admit I'm looking forward to the new option that's going to be happening where Hayley is going to be removing the fat quarters and replacing it with um, a meter I think a meter of fabric so that'll be exciting so so Hayley Jane does three levels of box there is the luxury which I have which is 70 pounds a month there's the classic which is 40 pounds a month and then there's the mini which I believe is 25 pounds a month um so let's get on and open it so here we go exciting so what are we it's oh, it's going to be like autumn vibes, I would imagine. So maybe, mm, I don't know, autumn vibes. That's as far as I'm going to predict today. <gasps> okay, so it comes a little packaged in the yellow, um, yellow tissue paper. Grow, September 2023. So it's very autumnal vibes. Right, let's have a little look. Ah, okay, so the interview is with Seasons of Ease, who we all know I'm an absolute number one fan. So I wonder if the pattern is a Seasons of Ease pattern this month. I hope it's one I haven't got. <laughs> anyway, um, so um, the interview is with Carol, who is one half of the pattern design team at Seasons and Ease. So that's interesting. I really love Seasons of East and I've made two of their patterns now and have lots of love for them. So yeah, Seasons of East. Um, and then the next one is all about viscose, viscose fabric and how to sew with it, etc. Oh, and then make of the month this month is from Debbie who made a peony dress which is the fabric godmother dress with the is it the sew over it bow bag I think it is so there we go there's in her floral dress lovely and then we'll move on to three boxes three makes so every month Gemma ha Gemma, Esther and Laura get um, early sight of the fabrics and they make something up. So I'll have a look, I'm not going to have a look at the luxury box, I'm just going to have a look at the classic box because I don't want to spoil the surprise. And it looks like it's um, like an autumnal floral and she's made, Gemma's got the classic box and made a lovely dress there. It's a Friday Pattern Company dress. Ah, oh, right, okay. So she's done the Donny shirt and ha done the hack into a dress, which looks nice. And then Laura has done a bit of patchwork. She only has the mini box. She's made some Matchy Matchy Company, Matchy Matchy Sewing Club um, trousers and um, used what she had in the floral to colour block with some other fabric that she had left over, which I like the idea of. I've got quite a lot of scraps actually, large scraps that I could make some cool matchy matchy trousers in. I quite like that idea. Hmm. And then the fat quarter mate this month, which will be the last fat quarter project, is a fabric bowl cover. Oh, and there's a little bit about change the boxes. So as you might have seen on our Instagram, we're making a few changes started next month. October marks seven years of So Hayley Jane. Wow, that's 84 different themed boxes sent out every month. But it's time to change the boxes. And after much thought and feedback um, from our subscribers, we've decided to remove the fat quarters. I love the range of prints and fat quarters. And think they bring something to the boxes so i had to think hard about how best to replace them and ensure you still get the same awesome feeling so with this in mind the classic and luxury boxes will receive an extra length of fabric different to the main fabric 
This could be cotton, lace, jersey, etc. Meaning you can make bigger projects and accessories or even smaller garments. We have a wealth of ideas of how to use a one metre of fabric on the blog thanks to our Managed and Inspiring Ladies. Instead of the additional fabric, the mini boxes will now be getting 1.5 metres of the main fabric each month instead of one metre. Oh, that's good then. So it's a classic and the luxury boxes will get an extra length of fabric. Cool. Looking forward to that next month. So two fabrics instead of one. How amazing is that? And then Makers Gallery, we have nice dresses here. We've got some makeup in the pink linen from the other Wick Classic boxes. I think they're the Pietra pants. And then this jumpsuit in this fabric looks really nice too. I really like that one that was in the Classic box, like a patchwork. Okay, so the profile is Billy. Billy's been subscribed to the Classic box since December. couple of makes there look very nice and billy is carrots and cashews on um instagram so the pattern picks from the fold line are the acetop by true bias the um Elijah dress pinafore and blouse by name patterns now this is the woven version of the kilo wrap dress and i'll be completely honest i'm not a fan of it really I just think it doesn't work in woven and I don't like the sleeve, but that's just my personal opinion anyway. Um, and then the Martha dress. Never heard of that company. So that is the Dorata Davies. Hmm. To check her out. And then we've got a spotlight on Sister Mintaka, who is a lovely lovely um fabric owner she's called sandy and she has a gorgeous um, fabric shop um i have met her and she is lovely she goes to sew grunt because she's local and i also saw it the knitting not the knitting um where was it oh the stitch festival that's where i met i saw her And then Hayley's Little Lynx. So we've got the Little Mermaid film. Now, I've not watched it yet. I feel like I watched the advert and I didn't really like it. I don't know if it's because I'm a traditionalist and just love the cartoon, but I will give it a go at one point. Silo, I've watched that. Totally binge watched it. It's a really good show on Apple TV. There's an Apple, a uh, best cookie recipe ever. Love that. And then the family game is a book. Hmm. Okay, so what's in the box? So in the luxury box, there's three and a half metres of Lady McElroy, Visco Chalet Lawn, five bright blooms, fat quarters, seasons of ease pattern, and then the little gifts and the magazine. So let's crack on. So, first of all, I have seen the pattern and I have mixed emotion. I'm very, very happy in one respect, but then gutted in another because it's the seasons of East summer in new york dress which i absolutely love and you know i love it but i've already got this pattern mwah, mwah. never mind um obviously this will be going on my d stash and oh, it's such a cool pattern i love it i cannot if you haven't made this and you want to make it and you want this pattern message me because i am happy to d stash this um but yeah, great, great pattern. And I think will look lovely um, in any fabric, to be honest with you. Ooh, ooh, lollipop. So my little one, Alice, loves lollipops. It's a good job you wasn't here when I opened it, but I will give them to her because she loves them. Okay, fat quarters. So these are quite cute. I'm loving this one. This one with the little cheeky birdies on it. Um... This one's got little wordings all over it, saying roots, plant, dreams, bloom, and little plants. More flowers. Some cute little butterflies. That is a gorgeous colour. Alice will love that colour. And little birdies. Very cute. I really like those too. I think Alice will love those. Ooh. Right. We've got some wax melt black plum and rhubarb oh my god that just sounds divine that is gorgeous i love plums right so i've got uh six wax melts there from the 
Bewley Company. Bewley? Bewley? I'm probably killing that, but wish I had smell of vision because that smells gorgeous. Um, and then we have these beautiful pins. Good, always need pins. Very good. And they're quite long pins, actually. Perfect for the quilter in me now. Um, put them there. And then, ooh, this is the colour thread, navy. In love with navy at the moment. And actually, you know I'm not a lover of floral. Ditsy prints. And this is a ditsy print. But it's a little bit different. I actually do really like it. So, oh, it's gorgeous. So this is Lady McElroy. And I'm just going to bring it up so you can see that it's got little ditsy prints, but then like these splodges of little floral um, flower beds. And the colours are really my colours. They're all like... Um, mustards oranges so I actually do really like this and probably will make something up in it let me have a look what Hayley made isn't it super soft visco chalet visco chalet is my second favorite base from Lady McElroy my first favorite base is the linen chambray which is the Chloe chambray it's not a linen chambray it's a visco chambray visco chambray uh, which is the Chloe chambray and then this chalet is the next one. So it wasn't Esther. I'm not sure why Esther wasn't in it this month. Maybe she couldn't do it. Um, she's made the jumpsuit by Pattern Emporium in it. It looks really nice layered. She's got it layered with a navy um, top underneath. Mm, I like that. So it's the Lady McCarroll Floral River Visco Chalet. And I've got three and a half metres of that. So yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to make with this, to be honest with you. Um, I really like the fact that she'd put it over something. Um, so maybe some kind of jumpsuit or set of overalls, maybe. I do like that idea. Now we're getting into the winter. It could be, it could be lovely paired with... Um, paired with like Haley's done it with like a navy top but then also would be nice in the summer because I think navy is a colour that you can wear all year round so I do really like that Let me just... right then I've had a little think about it and I've got a couple of options that have popped into my mind so the first one that I'm thinking is what about the my Sotis dress by dear and doe I think that would look really nice I've got the my Sotis dress pattern and I think that would look really nice you could wear it with some um, navy boots and some sorry some boots and some tights and that would look really really nice or I was thinking um if I went I've got the Erin Dungarees pattern that I've never made and that would work in a viscose I think that would look nice layered over a navy t-shirt or the ochre color as well which would look quite nice or I've also got the Fluen Patterns Tyra Trousers, which is a wide leg pant. Again, that would look nice with like a navy or ochre like um, turtleneck or Freya um, top. And then another one that would be a bit more of an involved make is the um, Friday Pattern Company Hughes dress, which I think I'd have to do some fitting on. But I do really like the um, like this one. Well, actually, no, it's not actually. It's princess seams and it's a tie back, so actually probably wouldn't be too bad fitting wise but that's a nice autumnal um dress as well so yeah they're the kind of options that i'm thinking this would look lovely in and yeah it's always nice to get a fabric that actually you wouldn't normally wear but i actually do really like it so that's it that's it for me for now i hope you've enjoyed this vlog um, if you do like this vlog, please click the like button. And if you don't subscribe already, please click the subscribe button. And if you want to get 10% off your first box and you don't already subscribe, please use the code Adele10 and follow the link below and you will get 10% off your first box. Right then, I'll see you all soon. Happy sewing. Bye.